Hey guys, welcome back to another wonderful Wednesday. Uh, it is so good to just be back in front of you and talking to you um, and knowing that, you know, you're all out there ready to go and start this whole process over again. Um, for those of you who are not aware, uh, the in-person students have been forced to go full virtual, so now we will have uh, roughly 160 virtual students uh, just on my course load uh, to take care of, and so things are going to be starting to look a little bit different as we try to accommodate just that sheer amount of uh, students trying to do work all at once, uh, especially those who, who are not used to doing this type of work. Uh, you'll notice, first of all, that on Classroom, I posted a few documents for you to look at. Uh, one of those main documents being a personal phone number. It's not actually my real phone number. It's just a phone number generated uh, through Google Voice Services, and you are free to use that. Uh, I would prefer if you try to email me first because not everything is an emergency, and especially your parents, if they can email me just in case you know there is some sort of grievance or if there's just a question that I can't answer, it's a little bit easier to send them through the proper channels if they are working that way. But, you know, if they want to contact me via phone or text through that number, they are free to do so. Um, a lot of people have been, we tested this yesterday and have been texting me since then, and it seems to be working just fine. So the number is correct and up and running for everyone. Please add that to your phone and contact and keep things professional. And I'm excited to hear from all of you and help you as you need help. Uh, we also should take a look at that schedule that I posted on Classroom. Now, that schedule is final, sort of, and not perfect, uh, as it doesn't have every single assignment for every single day, but it is a great idea of the general outline that we're going to be working with for the rest of the semester. Uh, well, not really just semester, just this three-week stint that we are hopefully going to be done with by December 8th and back in person by December 9th. We'll see how that goes. Uh, if there are any accommodations that you think are not being met or need to be made, please, please, please let me know and I'll get to those as soon as possible. You'll notice that uh, grades for your uh, papers still aren't in and that's just because there are so many of them to go through and hopefully those will be done uh, by Friday, especially with all of the extra time that I've got to get those done. Uh, hopefully you'll start seeing grades updated there very, very soon. Um, just know it takes an immense amount of time to get through those and grade them more or less well. And I'm even being kind of lenient on them with this just being a very awful, strange year. Um, with that being said, I would like to move on to our assignments today. In-person students, you'll notice that the Johnson University and everything is up, and virtual students, you'll notice that it's pretty dang similar to what you saw yesterday. Um, the questions for today are different and pretty much rely on you having watched the Johnson University segment or have been present for the um, presentation yesterday. So please take yourselves on over there to that link that's been provided for you and pay attention to that. Remember, I do want you to pay attention to the DSS, uh, which actually is presented to you through uh, SDS <laughs> um, in the presentation. But just be aware, it's towards the end if you know you don't want to watch all 20 minutes of it, which shame on you, um, but you can probably skate through uh, just knowing that much. So make sure you go through and you pay special attention to those three elements of regionalist literature. That is where we are going to focus most of our time uh, the next coming week. Weeks, all right? Those are the keystones that hold the genre up. For those of you who are in person, I was able to send out packets uh, with you um, that have most of the readings that we are going to be working with. Now, honor students, you'll know that there is a 37-page document that we are going to be reading in place of a white heron. Um, and that will be provided for you exclusively in PDF format. However, you should also be aware that if we do have to do this for longer than December 8th, we will end up reading a white heron anyway. For just everybody else in general, uh, today you are just kind of expected that you read uh, the Mark Twain story, or at the very least watched the video uh, that was provided for you on Classroom. That is going to, you know, 
be available for you up through the mini quiz that we will be having over it yet uh not yesterday you would have already taken it over the mini quiz that'll be given to you tomorrow in regards to that we are going to absolutely crank through the common usage all right we're going to just power through it uh, we're going to get get it done we're going to finish it uh while we're away on this three-week stint um and we are going to return to our vocab questions. Uh, so hopefully we can get that started and revamped uh, and finished by January 22nd. We will also be focusing in on our stop and notice strategies while we're uh, gone over the next three weeks uh, because, well, it's literature and real readers use these stop and notice strategies as their way of annotating and noticing what's important in the writing. So those are going to be there. Those are going to be super helpful for us. And I am honestly pretty excited to embark on that journey. Now, not everything is going to be printed out and provided for you. However, if you do absolutely need physical copies of things because your internet is garbage, um, please just let me know. Just let me know what we need to do uh, to get that for, to you. If I need to send, uh, you know, if I need to send something out, if your address is not the address that it says it is in Skyward and we need to make adjustments to that, then please just let me know and we'll get that taken care of to the best of our abilities. Uh, Another thing that I'd like to talk about today, right before I let you go, is that um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we will have Google Meet appointments. Uh, they're not actually less of appointments and more of just an abbreviated school day for you. Uh, that schedule has been sent out to both you and your families, uh, or just the adults that, you are, that have you in their charge. And that is all present for you. Now, obviously, your attendance is not required, but highly encouraged. Uh, I'll be giving you extra information, maybe answers to some of, some of your questions, and maybe even some answers to your quizzes. Um, and we'll get that taken care of and all done up uh, starting Thursday, all right? So if you have any questions for me about the assignment, about where we're going, where we're headed, uh, or if you just for some reason don't like the way things are structured at this point, please let me know so we can get those taken care of early so we don't just have to suffer through those for three weeks. I'll see you all very soon, and have a great rest of your day. The guiding question and learning targets for today are how do we think about American issues in various contexts, with a learning target of how are people represented in literature as society evolves.